Hey guys, Ruben Donat here. Now today we're just off the Oxley area. Some of you might remember this as the late Mr. Lee Kuan Yew's residence, a place that he called home for almost 70 years. And it's no wonder it's central, but it's still green, quiet and serene. Today we're going to be checking out a four bedroom unit at Orchard Court, which has just gone on the market. Now this home features a classic mix of both older oriental and western touches, playfully contrasted by a lively graphic modern design. Now, just before we begin, we'd like to thank the listing agent, Michelle, as well as the homeowners for allowing us to tour this beautiful home. And if you guys are ready, let's get this show on the road. Alright, so a brief background of this home, this unit features 4 bedrooms, 2 baths and is spread across 1,442 square feet. Now, when the homeowners first moved in, they were drawn to the vintage elements of this home, so instead of removing them, they opted to build alongside, pouring $150,000 into transforming this home into what it is today. Now, the asking price is $2.48 million and with that, let's begin at the entryway. So coming in, we've got a long entryway. To one side is a storeroom that's been partitioned out behind these mirrored bifold doors for extra storage. Now, having mirrors on either end makes for a more spacious and bright entryway. And speaking of spacious, there's space in this corner here for a long wooden bench. Now, the flooring is made of marble tiles and we've got a little breast strip that runs through the rest of the home. Coming into the dining area, you immediately notice how the space opens up courtesy of the 3.2 meter high ceilings. One thing I appreciate about this dining area are all the circular attributes at play here, including the curved walls, picture frames, pendant lights, as well as this 8-seater mid-century marble table. Now, having these circular elements helps to soften the somewhat rigid tones of the marble tiles, as well as the grey rugged wall. And I must say, it's been done very tastefully. Here, we have a long built-in console that gently leads the eyes into the living area. Above, you'll find a collection of the homeowner's art pieces featuring a good mix of local and imported works that adds a burst of life into this living area. Now, the far end, we've got breeze blocks that have also been specially sourced to fit the outer facade, and this brings diffuse lighting into the living area. It's also the first thing you notice as you walk in through the entryway. Filling up this area are two three-seater sofas dissected in the middle by a slim coffee table with a large symmetrical rug running up the living area. At the far end, we've got a TV set atop hexagonal ventilated shelves which double up as consumers for wires behind. Now, one thing I appreciate is the amount of space you have here to manoeuvre around, as well as the ample room between the dining and living areas. The balcony features beautiful old mosaic tiles from the unit's beginnings and combined with the greenery here, it makes for a great place to unwind in. Now, the homeowners did mention that most of the noise you get here are actually from the birds chirping down below. Now, one final thing as well, because we are on a high floor, it gets very breezy here. So the homeowners often use this as an extension of the living area, while still being sheltered from the rest of the weather elements. So we'll check out the bedrooms in just a bit, but first let's have a look at the kitchen. Now, it's located right next to the dining area and separated from the rest of the common areas by these glass sliding doors. Now, this allows light to come in despite it being closed for heavy cooking. Now, the kitchen is finished in a galley layout and we've got dark stone tiles, always a good hedge against cooking stains. To the sides, we've got a honeycomb marble tile backsplash adding a little bit of character to this kitchen. And finally, notice the storage areas on either end together with a larder that's been carved out. Perfect for a family that's into cooking. Alright, so this was once a bedroom, however, the walls have been replaced by these white bifold doors to extend the living area. Now, in the mornings, this serves as a study room and in the afternoons when the kids are back from school, it serves as a play area. It also allows the parents to keep an eye on the kids as they host guests from time to time. Opposite this multi-purpose room is the second common bedroom. Now, this initially functioned as a guest bedroom, however, during the pandemic, the owners opted to switch it into a study area. Now, the walls have been faced over with black polka dots and together with the lamp in the corner, it creates quite a mood. Now, it's not the widest, however, it's long enough to fit a drum set, study area as well as a two-seater sofa bed. 
Continuing down the corridor, we notice that the walls have been plastered with more artwork. Now to the right is the master bedroom and to the left is the kids bedroom. In the middle is the common bath and it's been finished with marble look floor tiles as well as white subway wall tiles. Now having the awning window behind also brings in light, nicely reflecting all these white surfaces. Heading into the third common bedroom, this kids room actually strays away from most of the two single bed setups we've seen in the past. Now it's positioned in an L shape to allow for more leg room in the middle so certainly very ingenious in that regard. We've also got windows on either end bringing in plenty of light as well as providing views of the CBD skyline, the lush greenery below and the heritage houses. Now finally, this room has been fitted mostly with modular furniture which allows it to grow over time. And finally, the master bedroom. So heading in, we notice that it's finished in darker, more intimate colours to emulate a hotel suite. Now in the middle, we've got a super king bed which really gives you an idea of the space you have to play around with. Now in my eyes, you could personally flush this to the corner, allowing for an additional study table, bookshelf or even reading nook on the opposite end. I've also got storage on either end, a lot of built-in cabinets and windows fronting two sides of the room. Now the homeowners did mention that it's here that you get beautiful views of the fireworks. Attached to this master bedroom is the master bath which is separated by this small white sliding door. So coming in you notice that it's light and airy, you've got marble wall tiles as well as a number of open ledges for your toiletries. And so that officially wraps up the tour for today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it as much as we did. Now, just before we go, we would like to thank the listing agent as well as the homeowners for allowing us to tour their beautiful home. Now, if you'd like to find out more about this unit, you can head on to the link in the description box below or head on to stackedhomes.com slash editorial to find out more. As always, if you enjoyed the video, do consider giving us a thumbs up, subscribe, comment down below, turn on that notification bell, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.